everyone welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here my name is emma i just thought i would let you know that my upload schedule is every sunday at eight o'clock so if you're not subscribed to my channel you can go down below and do that also my instagram name will be put in the description box below so you should go check that out if you're not already following my instagram i haven't been posting very regularly on it recently but i'm hoping to get more into that again during the fall i've just been crazy with school that's why my videos have been kind of not the best recently but don't worry fall is coming i am on break in a week and it's going to be fantastic so get excited for all of those upcoming fall videos speaking of changes and exciting things that have happened I hit 100 subscribers and I know that that is not a lot compared to so many other YouTubers out there but to me that was a really big victory for me because I've been trying to start up YouTube for a year and just really struggling with it and then I just finally hit 100 um I don't know when that was like maybe last month so yeah it's been a while and I hadn't really talked about it also pause for like one second that noise that's the candle I might have to blow it out in a minute it's kind of annoying me also, my cat is in here and he is messing with all this paper I have on the floor because I bought some stuff and it was like ceramic so it was all wrapped up. Anyway, not the point. If you hear weird noises, it's either my cat or my candle. Yeah. So back to what I was saying, 100 subscribers, that is phenomenal for me and I am just so excited about that. So thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel and who has supported me through this. And I didn't think I wanted to do some sort of like a big celebration video or anything like that because Eh, I mean 100 it's not that fantastic but I did want to do some sort of a little tribute to the beginning of my YouTube channel which if you didn't know I started it in I guess 2015 gosh I should know this one second let's look it up yep 2015 that's been a while so I started my YouTube channel when I was either 14 or 15 just turned 15 or was about to turn 15 I'm currently 17 so it's been a little bit of a journey and I started with my Disney vlogs and that was kind of my kickstart thing because I didn't want to just film some sit down videos because I was just so awkward in front of the camera I mean here I am I'm still super awkward it's fine we all know that but when I was starting out I just couldn't do it like I could not bring myself to talk to a camera in the middle of my bedroom like it was just it was not gonna happen my parents bought me a camera right before Christmas yeah so it was gonna be a Christmas present but we were going to Disney before Christmas so they gave it to me early because they knew that I wanted to vlog our trip so you can go back and watch those I am little fetus Emma and they're kind of excruciatingly cringy and they're very long so I did not understand video things but it's fine, I was starting out. And I just wanted to do a little tribute video to that. So here are my top 10 Disney movie recommendations. Sorry, that was probably the longest and most drawn out intro I could have ever done, but here comes the video. So number 10, I'm gonna start at 10, work my way back to one. Number one favorite, 10, good favorite, okay. So number 10 is The Great Mouse Detective. It's a pretty old film, I know that much. I watched it as a child growing up, I had it on VHS. It was a really good movie. So basically it's the story, well, I don't know what story it is, like which specific, it's story of Sherlock Holmes, except they're mice, so it's really cute. And it was just one of my favorite stories in the whole wide world, and if you've seen it, then you know what I'm talking about now. So there's a little tiny mouse, so there's like Radican, who's like the rat king, and then his little sidekick. Oh wait, it's not a mouse, it's a, he's like a bat, his little sidekick. And he really freaked me out as a kid, so in all the scenes that he was in, I just wouldn't watch the movie. But then obviously as I grew up, I started to appreciate the movie more, and I still really like it, and it's just one of my favorite movies. So if you haven't seen it, it's called The Great Mouse Detective, Disney classic. Go watch it. Alright, so number nine, and I feel like a few people are going to hate me for this one because it is a fantastic movie, but I had to narrow it down. So number nine is The Lion King. If you've not seen The Lion King, what are you doing with your life? It's one of the best movies on the entire planet. If you don't know what it's about, it's about a little lion who is becoming a king as he grows up and he doesn't like the idea of all the responsibility, but he wants to be king so you can see the issue. So then eventually some stuff happens, he ends up on his own in the wilderness, has a couple of friends, has some adventures along the way, and restores the kingdom. Sorry, I spoiled it. But I mean, it came out a really long time ago, so if you haven't seen this, fix that. So number eight is Monsters, Inc. And this was a really good movie. Again, guys, if you've not seen, any of these movies 
you need to go. Get a pen, get some paper, write it in your notes, anything. You need to watch these because they're the best Disney classics, in my opinion. Well, they're not all classics, but they're good Disney movies. Monsters, Inc. If you don't know what Monsters, Inc. is about, it's about two friend monsters who work at a scream factory and they end up finding a little girl and they go on an adventure and it's very exciting and I don't want to spoil too much because it's one of the best. So go watch it. Number six is a newer movie, but I think that the colors in this movie and the characters and the singing and everything about it is just fun. It is Tangled, and I really like this movie because I very much relate to Rapunzel because of her attitude and her spunkiness like me, and I just absolutely love the movie, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. The songs are fantastic. So Disney does music in a way that I really appreciate. They don't just throw in random songs here and there. They try to tie songs into the storyline and I really like that about Disney movies. So that's probably one of the reasons I really like Tangled because it's just a really fun, upbeat, and happy movie. Maybe not some parts, but the end is fun and I don't want to spoil it because it's a newer-ish film. I think it came out in like 2013. So if you haven't seen that, you should do that because, yeah, it's a good one. It's a newer one, so you should have seen it. Yeah, go watch that one. I think I'm going to tell you to go watch all of them. It's going to be the slogan of this video. Video. I shouldn't even call this video whatever else. I've just titled it. I should just call it Go Watch It Now. Something like that. Number five is one of the movies that I've just recently seen, and I really did like it, so that's why I've included it in the top 10, but I wouldn't say that's my favorite movie. Don't hate. It's a great movie. Love the music, love the colors, love the actors, love the motion of the CG. It's beautiful. Actually, yeah, CG. It is CG. So it is Disney's Moana, and I think that it is just such a fun movie. Like, it's just... I can't even explain it. So basically, if you don't know what this is about, guess what? It's about a young girl who goes on adventures just like Tangled, just like Monsters, Inc., just like, not the Lion King because that was Simba and he's a guy, but still, it's about a young kid who goes on adventures and it's a very good movie. So if you haven't seen that one, you need to go check that out because it's just a really fun movie and the music is fantastic and I think that if you really appreciate music and pretty colors and things like that, then you would absolutely love Moana. So I'm going to kind of stray away from the animated things for like a few seconds. So number four is Pirates of the Caribbean, and I just absolutely love this movie, as I do a lot of other movies, but this is one of my absolute favorites. Like, I just, it makes me so happy when I watch it, which is kind of weird. A 17-year-old girl who's obsessed with pirates? What? But, okay, so basically I grew up going to Disney World, a, I don't want to say a, a lot, but fairly frequently, like maybe once every two years, maybe often, more often, like when I was really young. But anyway, so I went to Disney World a lot and I rode the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and it was kind of scary, but I did like it and it was just a fun experience overall and when I got to watch the movies, then that was a big deal for me and I ended up really liking it and I connected with Elizabeth Swan, she's one of the main characters. Guess what? She's a young girl who goes on adventures, <laughs> just like a lot of other Disney movies. Thank you, Disney, for giving me good role models as a child who becomes a pirate. Yeah, great role model. She is, okay? You gotta watch the movie. But basically, I'm talking about Pirates of the Caribbean. Wait, what's it called? Curse of the Black Pearl. It's just really good. So, number three, it is Brave. Brave is a fantastic movie. It's about a young girl who goes on an adventure with her mom, actually. And basically, plot twist, her mom turns into a bear and she has to figure out how to fix it basically. And it's a really good movie because it inspired me, I don't know when it came out, maybe like preteen age? Let's ask Siri. When did Brave come out? When did Disney's Brave come out? Different one. When did the Disney film Brave come out? Come out? No. When, when did Disney's Pixar, what? When did Disney Pixar's Brave release? Release June 22nd, 2012. 2012, preteen, I was right. Let's try to fix my hair because it's starting to fall. 
I remember that I really liked Brave growing up because Merida was a real inspiration to me because she chose what she wanted to do with her life and followed her heart while still listening to her parents in the end. I really appreciated that Brave was one of the first movies, not one of the first, but it was definitely a significant movie that had an entire family together, Merida's whole families together throughout the movie. And I thought that that was really cool because a lot of Disney films don't generally have all the parents and the siblings, like someone's gone, missing, dead, blah, blah, blah. I really did enjoy that Brave was a whole family, so I guess that's one of the reasons that I really like that film. Number two, it's a newer one-ish, Frozen. So I really like Frozen because of the colors and the female leads and the songs and the brightness of the film, and it's just really good. It's about two sisters and their epic journey and their bond of sisterhood, and I really liked it because I have a sister. And my number one Disney film that I'm going to recommend and that is my absolute favorite is Beauty and the Beast. And growing up, I loved the animated version. It was fantastic. But when they told, they told me. When Disney released that they were going to be doing a film, a recreation of Beauty and the Beast with live people, starring Emma Watson, who is one of my absolute favorite role models, person, actress, absolutely love her. So the fact that she was going to be playing one of my favorite characters was so cool to me. And if you watch, so if you have the DVD, you can go and watch the special features on there. It takes a while to get through all of it. So if you rewatch or if you watch all of the special features, it's like you're rewatching the entire film, but from a different perspective. Like they show you how they did different scenes, how they did casting, the people behind the scenes, and it was just a really cool thing to see how they made the whole movie. If you like Beauty and the Beast, then you'll definitely like the rendition that they did with people. So those are my top 10 favorite movies, recommendations, m Disney things. So if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, like I said before, my Instagram name will be put down in the description box below. So if you want to go check that out, you definitely can. Also, if you guys noticed, fall things are coming. Get excited for that and stay tuned for the next video. I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. So, bye. Mm.